I don't know what YouTube lawyer you've been watching, what TikTok lawyer you've been watching, but you've been steered wrong, buddy. I'm telling you, you can walk yourself into another charge. Let I me mean, know if you're going to bust it. you going to bust it? Last. Last. Don't bust Welcome back to the Van Ballion channel guys. Today we head to Texas where a whiny sovereign citizen attempts the right to travel script on the wrong Liberty County Sheriff's Deputy who not only calls this guy out on his BS but then shuts him down and then when he refuses to comply removes his car window. Right, let's get into the video. What's up with it? Uh, shows it shows it's expired in 20. Well, I'm not, I'm just traveling. I'm not, I'm not doing business. You're not doing business? No. What is your name and badge number? Deputy Earhart, 1 David 47. Deputy Earhart? Yes, sir. 1 what David, 1 David, 1 D, 1 D 47. 47. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm with the Liberty County Sheriff's Department. I see that. Okay, you got your driver's license on you? I mean, what does it matter? What do I need it for? What do you mean, what does it matter? Well, do we not have a Fourth Amendment in this country? Are we still in America? You're calling me over for a sticker. Gotcha. You just pulled a guy over in there for. Who knows what and you're just sitting out there waiting for me as soon as i put up i mean this is what you're doing right now you're extorting the people no, i don't i don't i don't it's your job to extort the people it's my job it's your job to extort traffic the, did you swear an oath to the constitution okay first of all it's oath not whatever came out of your mouth then and secondly being lectured about extortion from a guy pulling the right to travel scam over an expired inspection sticker is the height of hypocrisy did That's you what I did. Okay, so that should be what you, your job is, the Constitution. I should be able to freely travel without having to look, pay dividends to... I mean, the Supreme Court's already ruled this. I don't need a driver's license to travel. I don't need a don't sticker need on my car. I don't need registration. I don't need forced insurances. All of this is tyranny, sir. Understand that what I'm I'm standing for your rights too, your children's right. rights, for us to be able to travel freely in this country. It's, it's a shame what's happening in this okay. country. I don't mean hostility towards you, but it's like, come on, dude, I'm not bothering anybody. I'm coming to get some food and go back to my place. Okay, so let me let me get this right. Okay. You're operating a motor vehicle on a public roadway, correct? Private property that I own. I am I am okay, traveling in saying, my private property. I'm not saying you don't own the And vehicle. the Supreme Court's already ruled that the, the byways, waterways, is for the people. We live in America. The people do not need to have forced insurances. Mandate none of that stuff. So what you're trying to explain to me is this is for commerce. Okay. But if, you, if you're okay. a bus driver, if you're okay. uh, if you're doing commerce, that's what this whole system is for. That's what you should be enforcing. You have to have it because you're out here doing commerce. I don't. I'm one of the people. Just one like when you take that hat off and you take that uniform off and you're one of the people outside of the clock, then you're you have the same liberty. You don't need stickers either for your car, your personal vehicle. You don't. Well, that's absolutely false. You're either relying on an outdated and cherry-picked definition of the word driver or the federal definition of a motor vehicle which only applies to the enforcement of federal statutes, or both. Either way, this cop is enforcing state statutes which say you need a license, registration and insurance. Also, if your vehicle has gone two or three years without a safety inspection, then it shouldn't be anywhere near the road. Okay, so what you're telling me is according to you for me to operate my personal vehicle on a public roadway i don't have to have a sticker nope i don't have to have a driver's nope. license i don't have to have insurance supreme court's already ruled it constitution so then, supreme law of the land so then why is it against the law why is it it's a not against citation? Why, why was it okay classy mr why is it okay to have slaves it used, no, used to be legal no i'm just saying it used to be legal traffic violations do not supersede the constitution it's any policy no it's, it's constitution constitution's at so the look, top look this is the deal I mean, comparing slavery laws to traffic laws has got to be one of the dumbest things a sovereign citizen has ever said to justify his position. He should be arrested just for that statement alone. I asked you for your driver's license. That's fine. So you can issue me your Do driver's Do you suspect license. me of a crime? You're committing a crime. What? You're operating a motor vehicle Is there a vi a That's public... not a crime, sir. Hey, let, I let you speak. Let me speak. Okay. It's a classic misdemeanor to operate a motor vehicle on a public roadway if it does not have current registration. You do not operate a Texas or another state valid driver's license, or you do not have proof of insurance on that vehicle at that time. All three of them are a classic misdemeanor, which is... If you're doing commerce. Let me finish. Okay.
You see, there is no if you're in commerce. You pulled out from your backside or it's something you downloaded from the internet, which, thinking about it, is the same thing, really. Which is either a citation and or you can be taken to jail for I'm it. I'm sure, I'm sure you so can do whatever you want to do. Again, do you have a Texas or do you have a driver's license? I legally have a Fourth Amendment. Okay, so what you're telling me is you're not going to give me a driver's license. I don't, am I committed, am I committed a crime? Registration. That's yes, not sir. a crime, it's sir. A that is not a crime. A Show me a victim. Where's the victim? A crime constitutes there's a victim. No, Where's sir. the victim? Show me the victim. Who, who's the victim so here? are you are you not going to give me a driver's Dude, license? Dude, you realize what you're doing right now? Yeah, I'm doing my job. You're, you're, you're shaking me down. No, sir, I'm not. You're shaking me down. No, sir, I'm not. Get over yourself. You shook yourself down the day you swallowed this sovereign citizen BS. And now you're going to make an even bigger mistake by calling for a supervisor, so... Please carry on. Do you have a supervisor? Yeah. Can you call him? I'll call him as in. I want to talk. I want him here right now so I can talk to him. You want to hear him as in? You want to talk to him about what? I want him here so that I can talk to him. Clearly, you're not understanding what I'm trying to tell you. You still think I'm breaking the. You think. Let me turn this off. Can I turn my car off? Yeah, you can turn your car off. I, well, the AC is just freezing me. A sovereign citizen demanding a supervisor because they believe they have some secret knowledge that never gets passed down to their subordinates still amuses me to this day. You really do have to be living in an alternate reality to believe that. What I'm trying to explain to you, sir, and I'm trying to be just one man or another, mm -hmm. I understand that you're used to pulling people over for this kind of stuff, but what I'm trying to convey to you is that this is not right. This is not, no. morally, this is not right. How this does not, not pertain, right? because this doesn't pertain to the people. The people are free, and this is, there's, there's case, there's already case record of this. You can look this up. Okay, first of all, spare us all the fake morals. You're not doing this for anyone other than yourself. You're not fighting for rights. You're just being a nuisance and a danger to other road users by driving illegally. And thanks to this video, we now know what happens when you guys get into an accident. You just flee and refuse to identify. And secondly, we've done the whole looking up case law thing. It doesn't wash and it never did. Because the cases you guys cite are either cherry picked or straight up fabricated. I have a right to your opinion and what you believe is right. The Constitution but, is, is what you should be upholding. The okay. right of the people to travel freely, to be free. Okay. This is still a free country. Do you believe in that? Correct, it is. So then don't you think it's 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 kind of uh, antithetical to the Constitution to have this kind of system in place where we, we, we can pull you over and shake you down and say, hey, you haven't paid your, your, your monthly fee or your yearly fee sticker? To, oh, so much of this stuff in this country... Little by little, they're eroding our freedoms. Our grandchildren, who knows what the country's going to be like then if we keep going this direction we're going. In your heart of hearts, have I caused anybody harm? Right, so before you start making claims about traffic laws being antithetical to the Constitution, you might want to read the Tenth Amendment. Or is that amendment a no-go area for you guys because of what it represents? Also, I'm not sure why he's citing 502-003, a Texas statute that doesn't apply to this situation, while ignoring others that do. That's the cherry picking I was talking about. Oh, and this uh, statute stays on the screen for a while and pops back up randomly as if to prove a point which it fails miserably at. The more you see it, the more it reminds you of how dumb the person who put it there is. Uh, I never said you did. Okay, but why, why are we sitting here right now having this conversation? I'm just trying to go, to, my food's getting... Because your registration's two years expired, which is a class C misdemeanor. Which is against the law. If I was maybe a bus driver. It doesn't matter. It's on a public roadway. You're operating a motor vehicle on a public it's roadway. With expired registration. Therefore, and now you won't give me your driver's license. Or prove to me that you even have insurance on the vehicle. Because I don't need so any me, of that. Let me ask you a question, okay? Man to man, as you told me. Okay. What happens if I let you go? You go a mile down the road down here. And you wreck this car and hit somebody. Well, well then, then what? I, well, then there's going to be something to deal with. Then, then we're going to have, then we're going to have a real. We're going to have a real reason but to have an interaction. Them, if you hit them, you're at fault. So therefore, sure. you don't have insurance sure. to cover. Then, the then I'm going to have to deal with it, right? Same I'm going to be out of pocket. I'm going to be able to get sued. I'm going to go to jail. Something's going to happen, so, right? 
Wait, so did I hear that correctly? You're saying the injured party would have to sue you to get compensation from an accident that you caused. And that's if you even stayed around long enough to give your details, which I'm not convinced you would, because you're already refusing to identify to law enforcement, so why would you stick around to give your details to some random person you injured? especially knowing the cost. And this is not me assuming we now have evidence of an uninsured soft sit with this guy's same mindset leaving the scene of an accident, refusing to identify and then mocking the victim, thanks to this video. Never believe or trust a word that comes out of a soft sit's mouth. This is, again, okay? Okay. I stopped you for the registration. I understand. Okay. I'm doing my job. I understand, so I get now, it. I don't hate you, man. I'm not now, against you. I ask you again. Are you willing to give me your driver's license and proof of insurance I, on the vehicle? I, okay, I don't have to do any of those so, things because uh, can, okay, I, can, I, can, I, can I speak with a, with a supervisor? Out. Step out. Yeah, I'll get my supervisor down here. Step out. Okay, are you going to arrest me? Yeah, take your seat. Okay, well, you, want me to give, you want me to give me my ID then? On the threat of arrest, I'll give you my ID. You didn't tell me you were going to arrest me. I told you twice to give me your ID. You don't want to, if you refuse, okay. I, I told didn't you. Say, I just said I didn't have to. If, if, if I, on the threat of arrest, I will submit my ID. Let me finish. I explained to you. The operating this motor vehicle. And I disagree. Let, let me finish. I understand. Let I disagree. Let me finish without uh, okay. cutting me off, okay? okay? I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm trying to be respectful to you as well. I understand. I told you, operating a motor vehicle on a public roadway without with expired registration is a class C misdemeanor. I told you, failing to produce your driver's license and proof of insurance upon demand is also a class C misdemeanor and or you can be arrested. What's the statute for that? What's the statute for what? For, for submitting your... Uh, for just submit, if you just ask me, I need to so see your driver's license. So this is your last license. chance. You can produce your driver's license right now, as I asked you, or you will go to jail for failure. Okay, well, under license. threat of arrest. I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you that is the I'm law. I'm just saying, if I don't give it to you, you're going to arrest me, right? Correct. That, okay, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm under threat of arrest. I'm under duress right now no, to sir. submit. No, sir. You're saying if I don't give it to you, you're going to arrest me. If you don't want to give it to me, you don't have to. No, but you're going to take me to jail because if I don't. You're going to impound my vehicle. All this stuff's going to happen, right? Right? That's what you're going to do to me? No, sir. Okay, I don't I'm want that to happen, you. sir. That is not a threat. I am telling you that if you do not do that, that is what is going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Okay, okay. I'm not... Me I, I don't doubt that you would do that. I'm not, I'm not trying to challenge you, sir. I'm not trying to challenge you while challenging every word uttered by this deputy. I swear, these guys make my teeth itch. It's simple, man. All you got to do is give it if it's... If that's it, well, guess I, what? Well, I do my if you're going to arrest me for way. not giving it to you, then I will give it to you. you but, but that's basically what you're telling me. You're you saying understand? I'm going to be arrested if I don't give it to you, right? Because I mean, just so this is being recorded. This is being recorded. Fine. This is being recorded too. You okay, can record so all you then want I'm going to gonna reach for my wallet now and give it to you because I don't want to be arrested. You know, I got animals I got to take care of right now that I got to go back to. Well, you chose to drive illegally and then drag a five or ten minute traffic stop into a forty minute stop that ends with you losing your car window and a trip to jail. You made that choice, nobody else. Maybe you should think about that while you're sitting in that jail cell. And maybe your animals can get themselves a more responsible owner while you're away. I mean, it's real simple, man. It's not real simple though, man. This is tyranny. This is no, this is true. sad what is happening to our country. I can't go to the dollar store, get a couple gallons of milk without this, without being, without, Fear that I'm gonna go to jail, get my car impounded. Like, dude, this is tyranny, man. All you gotta do is give me a driver's license. No, but it's insurance. but we have a constitution. We have a Fourth Amendment to be secure in our person's papers and effects. That's the Fourth Amendment that you swore to upheld. You swore to upheld that, and now you're but you but you're going against your oath. No, sir, I'm not. Okay, first of all, you chose a method of transport that requires a license, registration, and insurance to get to the dollar store. Nobody else. You could have walked, ridden a bike, or even taken the bus, but you chose that method, so deal with the consequences like a man instead of whining about tyranny like a child. Motor vehicle regulations have been around since the beginning of, well, the motor vehicle. And secondly, no, this deputy is not in violation of the Fourth Amendment and by extension his oath by asking you to identify yourself when you've committed several traffic infractions. I'm not. My job is to... Okay, to, I'm clearly to not, I'm clearly not going to change your mind. So here it is. You know? <clears throat> Why is it out of here? Because let me guess, you, you're saying that you shouldn't have to renew it because of because we don't, that, right? Well, I'm not doing commerce. From my understanding, and I could be mistaken. Okay, I'm gonna close your door. Okay. Okay. Now, if we've done this from the start, how hard was this? 
I know, but I'm trying to stand for our rights, man. You should stand for your rights. I, I don't have a problem with you standing for your rights at all. I encourage you to stand for your rights. But as you stand for your rights, when I took that oath and I put this uniform on and my hat, as you call it, I have a certain job I have to perform. This is part of my job. Traffic code, traffic violations. I understand. That's all this is. I understand. But if it, let's just can we do a hypothetical? Let's just say that tomorrow they write a law that you and your heart of hearts know is just wrong. I don't know what it is, but let's just agree that whatever it is is something that in your heart of hearts you know is not right. Are you going to go out there and enforce it? Let's say tomorrow they say, hey, you know what? Gun confiscation, you got to go and round them all up. Are you going to go? Are you going to be one to carry out that? Then that's a choice I have to make it at that time. It's hypothetical. It's just hypothetical. I understand it, and I'm answering your questions you asked me. That's a choice that every officer, including myself, will have to make at that time. Do we put this uniform on and enforce something we don't believe in? Or do you say, you know what, I'm not going to do that, and you hang your uniform up and go find you another job? That's a choice we'll all have to make if that happens. As of this point in time, that's not happened. I don't stop you for any other reason that I've ever been stopped in my personal vehicle. Right, so he did identify, but not to the satisfaction of the deputy, apparently. So we're back to square one on that one. But we do finally get rid of that Texas statute from the screen for now, which, like I said, doesn't apply to him because states, unlike a political subdivision or a local city, can and do require registration. Many of you already knew this because this is one of their arguments against registration. Anyway, the supervisor in the form of a sergeant from Onalaska PD has arrived as backup. Okay, what, what, what department are you with? Onalaska PD. Okay, Onalaska PD, what is your name, sir? Sergeant Prince. Sergeant Prince, yeah. and do you have a badge number? 604. 604, okay. You're pulled over because you don't have a license plate. Uh, I, I figured that. I'm not driving. We're not going to do sovereign is, citizen thing. I'm not a sovereign citizen. We're not going to do that. I'm an American national. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I need a driver's license and a proof of insurance. Okay. What can can we talk about this? I need a driver's license. I'm not insurance. driving though. You see, I have it posted right here. Not for hire. Yeah, like winding your window up is going to prevent the inevitable. All that does is make you look guilty and uncooperative. Sir, I don't want a problem with you. But, I mean, I don't... You, you're already coming off, like, hostile towards no, me. I'm not. I need a driver's license I'm, and a proof of insurance. Okay, can, can, I, can we talk about this? Because I, ha I have all the documents right here. A driver's license and a proof of insurance. Okay. Hold on. Uh, am I stopped? Yeah. Okay. Let me get... Can I get this paperwork here just to show you? I anything in the vehicle. I'm just, I got paperwork here. I want to show you some paperwork. I'm reaching for this paperwork. That's all I'm reaching for, man. Settle down. Been down this road before several times. I'm telling you. Okay, but, but what, what is it that you think that I'm wrong about what I'm saying? Listen, just hear me out. This, no, this is. So, can I talk? Because I know what you're showing me. I've been, I've been okay, what is, what is it that I'm wrong about? What am I getting? You're going to try and show me some excerpts from the, some case law that's not correct. So here's the deal. It's not, not what I'm showing you. That's not what I'm. Driver's license and a proof. Of that's not what I'm showing you. Driver's license and a proof. Of I'm literally showing you what the driver, the definition of driver means. It means one employed. I am not employed. I'm not for hire. I have it posted right here. Not for hire. That's the definition of a driver from the second edition of Black's Law Dictionary, you idiot. I think we're currently on the eleventh edition. Also, you're taking the word employed to mean you're getting paid or working when the word employed can mean, and this is according to Black's Law, the dictionary you hold in such high regard, as the act of doing something. However, seeing as we're in Texas, that's the only definition that counts here, and they define it as an operator, as used in reference to a vehicle, a person who drives or has physical control of a vehicle. No, no, I'm not refusing. I, I just want to talk casually with you. If we have to go down this road, we'll do it your way. Can we, can we at least just... Need a driver's license, proof of insurance. Sir, please just give me a minute. You're getting off on the wrong foot with this. You're going to walk yourself into a resisting arrest card. Dude, I'm, I've already I'm already got a court case. I'm dealing with this. Driver's license, proof I'm already dealing... I already have a court date. I'm dealing with the same thing. 
Yeah, and that's not something to brag about. In fact, it should be a red flag to you, but no, everyone else is wrong and you're right. Driver's license, proof of insurance. I am not driving, I am traveling. Driver's license, proof of insurance. I am not employed. It says employed right here. Coach, carriage, wagon, other vehicle, horse, animals. Incorrect. That's not per. That is not per the Texas code for the definition for state Texas. What, what, what code book are you using? It's called the Texas Transportation Code. Right here. Look at 502. Can you bring your book? I'm telling you driver's license and insurance now. No, I'm just saying. Look, you got driver's this. This is the Texas. Man, hear me out, dude. Driver's Seriously. Come on, man. Like, you're being. Dude. Again with this code, he's basically saying the Texas Transportation Code applies to me, but only when I think this particular code applies to my situation. Then I'm going to ignore the codes that say I need a license and insurance because I read something online that I like, which is the very definition of cherry picking. Look, it says here. Okay. Dude, let me talk, man. You're not letting me talk. Why are you not letting me talk? What for what? Because you act like I did a crime. What crime did I commit? You don't have a license plate. That's not a crime. It. No, it's not. For what you have jurisdiction over, it is. Dude, you don't you don't own the road. You're driving on a public roadway in the state of Texas. Okay. Okay. You have I'm not driving though. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Legal definitions. Here's the deal. What, what you're going to walk yourself into right now, I've been through this. You're going to walk yourself into going to jail. But why? You're refusing to give me your identification. I'm not refusing anything. You are. You are. You, have you provided it to me? Why would I provide anything? Don't I have right? I mean, you got me arrested right now, right? 8.15. Can you send a supervisor? I am supervisor. You are the supervisor? So you don't got any other body over you? My chief, she's at home. She's asleep. So there's, 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 you're the only one I can deal with right now. You're going to go to jail if you don't, if you don't produce something. I'm telling you. Point blank. But isn't the state law that I just have to give you a name? No, you got to give me name, date of birth, or you got to give me a driver's license. But I don't have to provide a physical document where I can just verbalize to you? Name and date of birth to where I can run you. Okay? Or, or, we're not going to do it. You're going to get a citation. If you don't sign the citation... And you're gonna go to jail. I know, man, but it's like, dude, this stuff takes up so much of my time. I'm already doing this with another county. I'm in Liberty County now doing the same thing. I got the paperwork right here. That's fine. Stop blaming other people for your own poor life choices. You made the conscious decision to double down on this sovereign citizen BS after what I assume was a previous attempt in Liberty City to drive illegally. Maybe you should blame the people who sold you this crap in the first place instead of crying to cops who are simply enforcing state laws. But I know that's too much to ask, so what other nonsense have you got? Driver's license. So do you think we don't have a right to travel? Is that... Driver's license. Point blank. I don't, I don't have insurance. Then the vehicle's coming with me. Come on, dude. You really gonna do this to me like this? Driver's license. I don't have insurance. I don't have insurance. So you're basically telling me you're going to impound my car. You have to have insurance. 100%. Dude, that's not right, man. Oh, so insurance isn't right, but making your victim sue you to get justice would be. I mean, that's got to be one of the shittiest things to come out of a sovereign citizen's mouth ever. And he's proud of it. It reminds me of the time this guy mocked his victim for being a victim. I know I keep promoting this video, but it really was an eye opener. Driver's license. I don't have proof of insurance. I don't have insurance. Dude, come on, man. This is the only car I got. I didn't ask you to drive without insurance. Dude, do, do you pay for my insurance? Do you have a job? No, I don't. Then that's not my problem, buddy. Okay. Is it, though? I mean, I'm not saying it's your problem, but the so fact... The yeah, because blaming the cop who pulled you over for not having insurance would be a really stupid thing to do. Almost as stupid as believing people on the internet who tell you the law doesn't have to apply to you as long as you say certain words in the right order or change the meaning of them altogether to fit your world view. <laughs> the fact... So the 
you're going to come out the vehicle now. If you don't, you're going to jail. If you don't have insurance on the vehicle, you don't verbally told me that, the vehicle comes with insurance. Dude, come on, man. 100%. So what's the best way we could do this for you to, like, not do this to me? Hey, this is, this is a said and done ordeal now, dude. What do you mean? Come out of the vehicle. So what, you're going to take me to jail now? I'm towing the vehicle. You don't tell me it doesn't have insurance. And you don't have a license plate. I mean, I got this. Non-commercial use. I'm not. I'm not, not I'm not getting paid. Doesn't matter. I don't know what YouTube lawyer you've been watching, what TikTok lawyer you've been watching, but you've been steered wrong, buddy. I'm telling you, you can walk yourself into another charge. Well, I don't want to walk myself into nothing, man. You You're not being smart about this at all, dude. I'm telling you. But after ten years of doing this, I've dealt with numerous of y'all. So, okay? so, so none of this is right. I mean, this here. Have you read this? I have read the Texas Transportation Code. What it says about a driver. You're behind. You're operating this vehicle right now, which you are driving this vehicle on the public roadway. Okay, that line about learning the law from YouTube and TikTok was gold, especially because he didn't deny it. Make of that what you will. Also, doubling, tripling, and now quadrupling down on an outdated definition of the word driver, like you're about to do, shows that soft sits will just carry on spinning in circles like a dog chasing their own tail. Can you please just tell me okay. what it says here? It says employed. I'm not employed. Please? Dude, I don't, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm not trying to have a fight with you, man. I mean, do you, do you want me to just give you a license? It's not, a, I'm not a sovereign citizen. Yeah, not a sovereign citizen, but we know the old saying, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then guess what? It's probably a duck. You are the very definition of the word sovereign citizen. I'm just, I'm done. I'm trying to just be honest with you, my understanding of the law. It says one employed and conducted. And I look up, what does employed mean? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. It says employed. Here's the deal. Contractor. What does contractor mean? Somebody who is under contract for payment. I'm not Here's getting paid. That is, that is incorrect. None of this is right. Here's the deal. Open the door, get out. I don't want to do that. I feel safe right here. I don't feel, dude. You're you're coming at me hostile. I don't know what you're gonna do, dude. You're freaking me out. I don't want to go outside. I'm safe in here. I'm not safe with you, dude. That cop could have ripped you out of your vehicle in the first five minutes, but he let you spout your soft sit nonsense for what feels like an hour. So this story about you being afraid now is laughable. And speaking of feeling unsafe, Texas road users aren't very safe with your uninsured and uninspected vehicle on the road. He's telling me that he, uh, he don't have to provide me a driver's license, he doesn't have to give me any kind of information, he just don't have a Man, this is not good. He's another sergeant for the county. Excuse me. Can I talk to you, sir? Sure, go ahead. Let you want it down, but you need to talk to him. Don't let you want it down so I can. Well, I just want to talk to you because I tried talking to him and he's like, he's getting pissed off. He looked like he want to rip me out the car. And I'm like, dude, I ain't been nothing but casual with him. You know, I'm like, well. Okay, let you want it down so I can talk to you, Glitter. That's it right there. I mean, let it down. I, I want you to be. A dude, I know how this goes, man. I don't want to get ripped out of here. I don't want y'all beating my ass. I don't want y'all shooting me, man. I just want to travel in Listen, peace. I, I'm not gonna rip you. I'm not gonna pull you out of anything. Let the water down so I can talk to you. Dude, I can hear you. I feel comfortable where it's at. No disrespect. I just feel safer with it up like this because okay. y'all can start grabbing in here and yanking me out. I know how it goes. Okay, well let me ask you something. I just want to talk to you, man to man, just on the facts and okay, tell me where I'm wrong. Couple, let me ask you a couple questions first. Sure. Do you have any problems in the vehicle? What, what does that matter? I'm asking, do you have any firearms in the I mean, I, I'd rather not answer any of those questions. 
Right, so out of all the stupid things you've said and done on this stop, and that list is long and growing, not answering the question about a firearm in the vehicle when you've already verbalised your wish not to get shot, while at the same time refusing lawful orders, is probably the dumbest thing you've done yet. Because all this will be taken into account when they finally go in to make the arrest. I just want to talk about this. Okay. This right here. If he's saying... The Texas Code, which is right here, which is what y'all got. Do you have a copy of your book here? Okay, so I'm not going to subject you all to a third outing of the script with yet another supervisor because I like my subscribers. So let's skip ahead to the two minute lead up to the window bus where he fails to understand the difference between arrest and detainment. And because of that, wants his Miranda rights read through him because, of course, he doesn't understand how those work either. And then we finally get to see the consequences of his actions. I said anything that you would no, thought about no, you being under arrest. No, but I'm not free. Hey, sir, am I free to go? You're temporarily yeah. detained. So, no, no. So, e every stop is a custodial arrest. So, right now, I'm under arrest. I want you to read me my rights now. You're temporarily detained. Read, read me my Miranda rights because I'm under arrest. Don't do this, man. Don't do, do what? Don't do this. I mean, look, right. I understand. At the end of the day, y'all could bust my window. Y'all could drag me out. You could tase me. I get it. This is y'all's world, and I got to deal with it. But all I'm trying to do is just be free, man. Is America free or not? Are we not free to travel? Or are we not? Lance, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do what? Step out and talk with me. Why would I do that? Step out and talk Why would I do that? Don't, don't do that. What? Don't do what? You have your driver's license on you? Or any type of identification? I told him I'd give him my name. You have your driver's license on you, any type of identification that we can verify that you are who you say you are. I understand what you got on your shirt, but that doesn't say anything. Anybody, you can have anybody's shirt The same on. thing with y'all, right? How do I know y'all really cops? Unit, badge. Anybody can get a badge. car, right? Anybody can get lights. No, but that's just how you doing me, man. You literally doing me like that. that. You want to go home or you want to go to jail? Man, I want to go home with my car. That's what I want. You try to say you'll impound my car, but do you let me walk switch, home or something? Switch your vehicle off. How am I gonna go home? Turn your vehicle off. Switch your vehicle off, Larry. Uh, all right, y'all gonna break my car? Just be honest with me, man. Y'all gonna break my car? Switch your vehicle off, Larry. Well, what are y'all gonna do, man? Larry, turn your vehicle off. I mean, are y'all gonna bust in my window? Just be honest with me, man. Look, look, hands up, man. Hands are up. I don't want no problems. I, I asked you about weapons in the vehicle. You won't answer any of my questions about that. Dude, because I have a right to remain silent. Do I not have rights? Read me, my, with read me my Miranda rights. You're speaking with them. But I can choose to answer a question or not. Those are rights, man. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? Answer me that. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution when you got sworn in? Lance, you're not just listening. answer me the question. I'm just you're asking you a listening. question, man. You're not listening. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna do that. You gonna bust? Are you gonna bust my vehicle? Don't make me bust your window. I don't want you to bust my vehicle. Open up the door. But why would I want to do that? Listen, we don't know who you are. We don't have no kind of way of verifying who you but are. But what makes you think I'm I'm somebody bad? Why yeah. wouldn't you think I'm somebody you got to worry about? You haven't properly identified. Dude, or like, look. You haven't properly identified. Last stock show, dude. Are you gonna bust it? Let me know if you're gonna bust it. You gonna bust? Lay us, lay us. Don't bust it. Don't. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that unfortunately is all we get. I guess he didn't want us to see the police dragging him out of the vehicle crying like a baby. But as always, if I find the original, because yes, unfortunately this video is from a secondary source, sympathetic to this guy's ideology without a link to the original, or if I find any information about the outcome of this stop, I will of course drop a link in the description or post it in my community page. So. Keep an eye out for that. Right, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.